Hi friends, how are you? Welcome to another exciting episode. In today's video, I want to teach you step-by-step -step how to draw a flamingo. Pay close attention to the first stroke that I am going to make because it is crucial to give the shape of our flamenco peak. We will start by drawing the beak. Notice how I make a line down the center and then paint the center area to give it a three-dimensional look. Once we are done with the beak, we will continue with the head of the flamingo. To do this, we will draw a sinuous line in the shape of that, simulating the neck and elegant head of this beautiful bird. Now, we'll get into the face. We need to realize the little eye of our flamenco. Now let's get into the body part. We will make a small semicircle. Next, we will add some sinuous lines on the side to simulate the characteristic of this bird. Next, we're going to add a small straight line to give a touch of dimension to our flamingo's body. To add more detail and texture to the plumage, we will make some additional sinuous lines on the body. Remember that you can pause the video as many times as you think necessary to achieve this beautiful flamenco. Now we will focus on the little legs of flamenco. We will draw four parallel straight lines with a small space between them to represent the long and elegant legs of this bird. To add a touch of realism, we will draw some additional lines to separate the little legs, and then we will replicate the same shape to represent the second leg of our large flamingo. Finally, we're going to make the last part of our flamenco. We're going to make the last leg of our flamenco. That's it, as you did the first. Remember to join them in the end to give it a touch of dimension to make sure that our flamenco, to add more details and texture to the plumage, we will add some additional lines on the body. Remember that you can pause the video as many times as you think you need to get this beautiful flamenco. Now we will focus on the flamenco's legs. We will draw four straight lines parallel with a small space between them to represent the long and elegant legs of this bird. To add a touch of realism, we will draw some lines of additional joints to separate the legs. And then we will replicate the same shape to represent the second leg of our great flamingo. Finally, we are going to do the last part of our flamenco. We are going to perform the last leg of our flamenco. That's right, just like you did the first one. Remember to join them together to make sure that our flamingo has a solid base. We will draw small sinuous lines on the side of it. And that's it, a big and beautiful flamingo. Thank you, dear friends, and I look forward to seeing you in my next episode of Drawing School. 